Alright Mopar people, welcome back to the channel, I'm just Mopar Joe. By no means will this be a full on how to port heads video. Uh, if you want to see that, go check out Mr. David Vizard's channel. I really think he does supreme work and I want to be like him when I grow up. Uh, I'll probably actually cite him in a couple spots here. I don't have all the fancy equipment that he does or the years of experience, but I do think I can help these heads out quite a bit. If you can notice here, let me get you in closer, uh, a couple things. I can see the original marking uh, where the, the old head gasket was. Um, so I'm actually going, going to deshroud these valves just a little bit around both sides. Um, I probably won't take it all the way to the mark, but I'll take it, you know, a good portion of the way. Uh, the other thing is the throats of these chambers, or the, um, the throats of these ports haven't been cut at all. So if the valve, this one's kind of rusty here. Okay. So if the valve sealed all the way out to here on that lip, this is just, you can really feel it all the way around how, how much that has to roll. So exhaust will be flowing that way. Uh, intake will be flowing this way. And I'm going to smooth those up very, very nicely. Blend the bowls, as they call it. Um, something else else there's a giant piece of slag right here just sticking off this um, I guess where the guides are so another big one right there huge stuff I'm going to cut that down real nicely if it's flowing that way I'll get that trimmed up um, on this deal it'll actually be flowing in through here so it may not be as big as a deal as I'm as I'm making it out to be but uh, I want to get that cleaned up. I'm going to clean up all the slag in there, anything like that. Uh, so deshrouding, blend the bowls, and then on this side, uh, it really kind of has a, a pinch down here uh, where the push rods are, push rod tubes. And these heads are very similar to a magnum. They have the huge holes in them. So I'm not going to hit that very much. Um, like I said, I'll knock the slag off. Leaving, I'm going to leave the floors of the ports alone. I always try to do that. So leave the, leave the floors alone. Um, I may do a little bit of stuff to the roof and just open open this up here. Probably not going to same thing on that side. I'm not going to gasket match these. I, that used to be my, my favorite thing. I'm going to throw that gasket on there and gasket match it. Um, I've got a couple videos of doing that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but that pinches down so much if the air is flowing in and I just open this up more and more and more if I open it up more and more and more it's going to have to do something besides go straight in so I'm shaving that wall uh, raising the roof and leaving the floors alone that's pretty much it for it I'm not going to touch the exhaust if you recall in my um, early in my younger wisdom I actually opened these way up and gasket matched them that was the wrong thing to do I should have left this alone um, I, I mean it's nice how, how large it is but that point from here to here is much smaller let me show you on this one I think the lights a little bit better that's much smaller than this outside opening now so it's having to flow smaller to large uh, and then back into my header tube I think standard small block header tubes are inch and five eighths you can buy some inch and three quarter inch and seven eighths tubes if you get like TTI headers or like a TTI step header I think goes from maybe inch and five eighths to inch and three quarter something like that um, I, don't, I don't have any of those and I can't afford any right now so I'm not going to do that uh, I'm gonna try to open this area up just a t just a tad there, um, get that exhaust flowing out better, and that'll be it on this side. So everything I do to one head, I'm gonna do to the other. I do not have a flow bench to test these out on, and which the majority of porters out there don't. They're just backyard people like me. So if you like this video, uh, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff, and. I'm going to go to work.
I just dropped a couple valves in real quickly. So if you can see that left side there, see it's pretty tight right through here. So I think that's where my opening needs to come, kind of come on. I'm going to leave the valve in so I don't try to uh, get close at all of that seat. I'm going to switch to my other bit and I'm going to open that up just a little bit more. I'm not doing a whole lot. Um, but anything I do to this port, I will do the exact same thing to the other. Kind of see it here. I did a little bit of work there, but uh, he actually, David Vizard was using the flow balls on the end of this. I could probably make one of those somehow or another just with a steely ball or something, but uh, for my purposes, this will be fine. I'm, I'm helping this head out tremendously with what I'm doing. So I'm going to leave that in, switch bits, and go back to work. All right, I can pop these valves out here. All right, so hopefully you can see what I did here. Just open that up. I did go ahead and stick my valve in, and um, I got more valves. It's not a big deal. Uh, opened up here, and then I went all the way around that edge that was sharp. I hit it with my Dremel first, and then I took my sandpaper roll, so it is got just a little slight bevel to it everywhere. Um, I feel pretty good about that. I, I did all of them. Went ahead, like I said, I did the one. I did, I did one. Then I did the rest of them exactly the same. I uh, ran my sandpaper roll over the chamber some. It's really not bad, like cast at all in there. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and hit these, hit the uh, throats of these ports, and keep moving on.
I like it. Did all of my bowls on that opposite side. Now I flipped the head over. I'm going to hit all these. I'm just showing you uh, one cylinder's worth here, uh, just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But I'm just taking taking short breaks in between filming. That way I can go ahead and do everything. I'm doing the bottoms of these, bottoms of these, moving on down the line. That way I, I'm really trying to get it as accurate as possible do the same step to all of them um, so let me go ahead and hit this bowl here it's really bad like that dude's hanging way over there so I'm gonna get that cleaned right on up So, been all the way around it now. I feel like my bowls are really nice and clean. I'm going to hit this guide some. I'm not going to knock it all the way down, but I will um, sharpen it out to the edge some. And if you can see, I don't know if you can or not, where my red straw is, there's actually a bump right there in the port. I'm going to knock that off. There's, I, don't, I don't need a bump in there. I'm okay on that. 
Um, it does look like uh, there may be a little bit more bias this way on the port flow and it does come up to a point here so all I'm going to do is smooth this casting and that casting on the intake side both of them uh, knock off that little bump and probably call those good uh, on the exhaust I'll do something similar knock, knock that side of the guide down since air is flowing this way out of the cylinder it might actually hit that and tumble so that'll give me a little more port volume if I do that and yeah that'll be that'll be cleaned up I got to the point here my bit was very tight coming through here but it can barely fit now this side here it fits plenty and then I just round it off smoothed off there I knocked down my bump here I'll be able to knock it down better from the other side uh, but yeah that that ports really close to being done in my opinion and I'm gonna go by I'm gonna go ahead and Go by and do all the intakes now just like that. Looking into the port now, I can see my other work through there. It does kind of weirdly clamp down here. Um, excuse me. So, example, my, my finger gets stuck here, whereas on the top side, it would go all the way through. I'm not totally sure. Like I said, that, um, you can see my, see my pinky here that push rod wall is right here so I don't want to cut into that too much basically I'm gonna knock all the casting flash off this um, or as much as I can reach and probably call that good I don't I don't really want to reshape this port because I don't I don't know what I would be doing I wouldn't know what the end result would be when I did that so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out I'll cut y'all back on just a second all right, here's that ugly exhaust port, um, which I had opened up great big before. I'm going to cut the guide down just a little bit here. I'm going to open up just a little bit here on the edges. Um, try to blend that a little bit more. But I'm not, not going to cut this any larger out here. This is already way big. So Anyway... I figured I'd show you that. I'm going to go ahead and get it cut and then show you my finished product on this whole deal here. So, y'all hang out one second. So, here we are. One of my most favorite uh, statements that I heard Mr. Visard say is that the air is going to go where it wants to, not where you want it to. So, got my shrouding done on the sides, got my bowl blend best I could let's see you look through the bottom I just only knocked off um, the casting inside my walls here I did a little bit of the push rod pinch like there's my finger going through the push rod hole there and I know there's guys that put drool tubes or something in there and they just cut 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 I don't want to do all that. Um, I think it's going to be significantly better than it was. 
might not even be the prettiest uh, but it was kind of nice having some uh, the dirt in the port so that I could see where I was cutting everywhere the light shined you can see it glow in there uh, let me flip you over around here these certainly will flow better than any of the 318 heads that I've done just because of the port size and valve sizes uh, this is a 202 uh, intake so you can see they're cut, cut pretty close there and lastly would be a little bit of exhaust stuff that I did like I said it's nothing nothing substantial but I cut that guide down a little bit um, opened it up just a little bit more but nothing out here I should have never touched that out there I'm sorry but you live and you learn anyway um, I appreciate y'all watching this these are the ND X heads by racing head service and I believe these are their LAX since they have the shaft mounted rockers so these are going back on my 408 I'm going to get them both ported up and dropped at the machine shop so I can cut uh, from my new springs. Let me drop that down there. So that's going to need to be cut, that pedestal for the inner spring. Um, I do believe from my measuring it's too tall, it's too high, and it's, it's going to compress that spring way too much. So I'm going to have him... Uh, check them out and get them put back together either way I appreciate y'all watching and I'll catch you next time